Regarding Tirupati Laddu controversy, I wanted to uh, share my views. So, I would like to uh, recite a story, read a story in the Back to God article. This is also in the Chaitanya Charitamrita Deela. In the Back to God article, this is published, this story is published. July 13, 2023. This Back to God Maxim, this article is published. Initiating the Buddhist on his extraordinary tour of South India. So when Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to South India, Lord Chaitanya visited many villages and all the residents became Vaishnavas. Those days they were travelling by walking. Nowadays we have vehicles, bus, car, aeroplane, helicopter, all these things, facilities we have for travelling. Those days Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was travelling by foot, which means the monks were travelling by foot. They were healthy, they were staying many places and they were there were guest house and everybody was treating you know, guest, Atiti Devo Bhava. They were treating you know, guest like a demigod. So everywhere they treat nicely. So guest. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was touring South India, he visited many villages and all the residents became Vaishnavas. But so this is the opportunity. By travelling by car we may not have the association. If a monk travels through the villages, no. cities, in the, re- in the street, everybody gets the opportunity to associate the sadhus. The sadhus travel by vehicles or no, uh, not everybody gets opportunity. So this is another advantage. If a sadhu travels by walking, he will the, even the sadhu will be healthy. He will and uh, he will, when he will get opportunity to associate with the sadhu. <coughs> so everybody will have association. Opportunity for association of a sadhu. So Chitina Mahaprabhu was travelling South India and all the residents became Vaishnavas. So see, this is another opportunity. They all become Vaishnavas. By association, they become Vaishnavas. By chanting the holy names of Hari and Krishna. In this way, many thousands of people were delivered from the miseries of material life. So by association with sadhu, they all become liberated. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Shastra Kahe, Lava Matra Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhi Hoi. So, moment association with the Sadhu, everybody becomes uh, liberated or perfected. Sarva Siddhi, they get all, they will attain all perfection. That's an that's a opportunity uh, for you know, Sadhu Sangha. This, when the monks travel, that's an opportunity for Sadhu Sangha. Sometimes the Lord would establish the supremacy of Krishna consciousness by defeating various opposing philosophies. Once a very learned Buddhist, so so many philosophies are are there which is opposing for the Vaishnava philosophy, uh, Mayavada philosophy, Buddhist philosophy. Here Lachitanya Mahaprabhu is meeting a Buddhist here. Buddhism means it is intellectual platform. It is an atheistic platform more materialistic platform they are like more like more into um, wealth acquisition intellectual platform buddhism is like atheism so so lord once a very learned buddhist scholar came before the lord with his disciples to establish the philosophical conclusions of buddhism with great pride, he set forth the line Buddhist principles, but Sri Mahaprabhu broke them to pieces with strong logical arguments. Many people had gathered to hear the debate, and when they all began to laugh, the Buddhists, who were all atheists, became fearful and ashamed. So, Buddhist people, they do not accept the conclusions of Vedas. Veda na maniya, bauddha hoile nastika. So, on account of not accepting the uh, Vedas, they are considered to be atheistic people. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu defeated the atheistic people. Became the Buddhists who were very very you know they were all atheists. Became very became fearful and ashamed. Atheist may be very expert in mental speculation and argument, but they can be defeated by a Vaishnava firmly seated in his conviction and God consciousness. So, they are intellectual people, atheists are intelligent people. 
they were they are very good in arguments and the speculation so but vice a pure vaishnava can defeat them <coughs> because of bhakti because vaishnavas practice bhakti they can defeat the, this this buddhist are like shakti followers of materialistic uh, power they are have some power shakti shakti marga it is like a shak- materialistic power bhakti ma- bhakti is even more important than the material energy shakti so a bhakti a bhakti only a bhakti those who practice bhakti they can make others devotees only a bhakta can make another bhakta a shakta can make another shakta so buddhist they can give the material knowledge so but a buddhist can be defeated by a vaishnava formally stated in his conviction and god consciousness the buddhist understood that lord chaitanya was a powerful vaishnava and they returned home very unhappy so buddhist are materialistic people they have material knowledge whereas the vaishnava he has a spiritual knowledge because matter is temporary material elements are keeps on changing bhutva bhutva praliyate matter is keeps on changing and uh, whereas spirit is permanent spirit is, uh, spirit is nev- uh, no, never changing it is always existing no spirit is indestructible spirit is you know uh, eternal sat whereas matter is temporary so buddhists have the knowledge about the temporary elements the material elements sankhya philosophy uh, eight material elements uh, uh, material but overall they have the knowledge of the material elements whereas the spirit is that is the spirit is immortal so they don't have that knowledge they don't accept immortality they don't accept reincarnation they don't accept soul actually buddhists they don't accept the soul they don't accept karma they don't accept reincarnation so that's why you know uh, the rebirth karma they don't accept all these things philosophy they are atheistic people later the buddhist they began to plot against lord chaitanya mahaprabhu their plan was to discredit him by tricking him into eating untouchable food so even chaitanya mahaprabhu has to undergo so many difficulties while preaching you no know, while touring even god has to undergo so much difficulties while preaching bhakti so preaching is not easy pranache se hetu pracha those who are alive those who are conscious they can preach so preaching it is always difficult it's not as easy so much problems will face in our life so chaitanya mahaprabhu was had faced various he was alone they were many and uh, he was a sanyasi they were a buddhist sanyasis he was a vaishnava sanyasi so they want to discredit him that he is eating untouchable food like meat so they want to discredit him so they brought a uh, they, they they began to plot against lord chaitanya their plan was to discredit him by tricking him into eating untouchable food untouchable food means what meat meat of a flesh of an animal is untouchable the next day the buddhist brought a plate of contaminated food that is flesh of an animal to shitana mahaprabhu calling it mahaprasada spiritual food offered to krishna so krishna accepts the fruits flowers vegetables so they brought animal flesh and they called this is a uh, uh, prasadam mahaprasadam offered to lord krishna as the food was being offered to the lord so no lord the lord is always uh, is lord is never alone lord shri krishna is not alone he is always surrounded by various associates like garuda hanuman and lakshmi and, and so many associates so here garuda the bird carrier vainateya is always carrier of lord vishnu so he came and he rescued lord as the food was being offered to the lord like we have prime minister he has so many security forces are there protecting the prime minister or president of a country and even chief minister even mla they have some security guard protecting similarly uh, when um, when chaitanya mahaprabhu was there the buddhist wanted to offer the food the garuda the 
is a security like is a protecting lord he came and he saved lord and as the food was being offered to the lord a la- very large bird swooped down <coughs> grabbed the plate with its beak and flew it into the air with it all the food fell on the buddhist and the plate itself fell down on the head of the chief buddhist teacher making great sound the teacher's head was cut by the edge of the plate and he immediately fell to the ground unconscious so they they made a different plan and god god will have his different plan at this calamity all the buddhist disciples cried aloud and ran to the lotus feet of chitanya mahaprabhu for shelter they addressed him as the supreme personality godhead saying sir please excuse our offense please have mercy on us and bring our spiritual master back to life the lord replied chant the names of krishna and hari very loudly near the ear of your spiritual master then he will regain consciousness following sri chitanya mahaprabhu's advice all the buddhist disciples began to chant the holy names of krishna rama and hari in unison soon the buddhist scholar regained consciousness and immediately began to chant the holy name of the lord hari his disciples marched to the astonishment of all the onlookers in this way lord chitanya initiated the buddhist into the chanting of the holy name of krishna converting them to vaishnavism by reviving their original krishna consciousness so what we can understand from this story of lord chitanya mahaprabhu's interaction with the buddhist monks is that there is always a category of people who want to drag us down no nobody likes other success other progress envious it is the nature of the envious demons you uh, know snakes envious of other success other progress so here also the buddhist are some kind of enviousness against the you know fame of chitanya mahaprabhu chitanya mahaprabhu very famous he defeated them right so they will come it's a natural for them to become envious and uh, um it's a nature of that is their nature they are envious of chaitanya mahaprabhu they are envious of uh, even like uh, solar eclipse lunar eclipse, lunar eclipse happens because of the rahu planets covering the sun and moon sun when the sun and moon is covered by solar eclipse lunar eclipse it's called uh, no chandra grahana surya grahana so that's uh, that's uh, enviousness that nature of the snakes to be envious of others success achievements so here buddhist also becomes envious of other success achievements and the rahu this solar solar eclipse lunar eclipse solar eclipse lunar eclipse cannot exist more than one muhurta that is 48 minutes only at 48 minutes they can you no know, they can capture or they can swallow it's like swallowing sun and moon so they can cover one only one muhurta but lord will send sudarshan chakra because of the sudarshan chakra heat of sudarshan chakra the demons will run away so um they only hardly and one hour 40 48 minutes they can you no know, capture rahu you know, that uh, rahu can capture uh, sun and moon for only for uh, one muhurta so the lord will sa- will save the universe uh, by sending sudarshan chakra because of the sudarshan chakra's heat and light rahu cannot stay there he will run away so in this way this is a regular phenomena rahu will go and capture sun and moon for one muhurta and lord will send sudarshan chakra and it will run away so this is a regular phenomenon phenomenal regularly this is happening because rahu become immortal soul immortal planet rahu become immortal demigod so rahu is a demon planet asura planet asura graha so the, all the fallen souls are take birth in this rahu all the fallen souls are influenced by rahu all the fallen ancestors are influenced by rahu planet so it is our duty to uh, satisfy the ancestors because it is also our duty to help them regain their consciousness